Hello, my name is William Bissett, and we're all the way over in Scotland, both Yvette and I. We're here to find the Loch Ness Monster. Now, Yvette is a specialist in the Loch Ness Monster. Yvette, what are we doing here? Well, we're here today, uh, obviously, to find the Loch Ness Monster. Um, I have been told through my research that this is quite a popular place to uh, see the Loch Ness Monster. There's been numerous sightings of the Loch Ness Monster over um, a good hundred years now. Lots of uh, written accounts, a few uh, films have been made, um, also a few photographs have been taken. Um, Apparently it's very popular in the water. Very popular in the water, so, never comes on land. Right, never. so what do we have behind us here? Well we have a lake behind us, we have the Loch Ness uh, behind us, which is obviously where he lives. Um, Right, well, yeah. let's, well let's go down and have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. Great. It's actually quite a privilege uh, working in with the vet because uh, she is a, a Loch Ness monster specialist and uh, she's got her degrees uh, in the behaviour patterns of the Loch Ness monster. But let's go and talk to her a little bit more. Uh, so I've been told, uh, with the Loch Ness monster, if you do want to coax them out of the water, uh, you do need to use a lot of high-pitched noises and also a bit of dancing helps apparently. The vibrations that it sends to Loch Ness attract him. Come on, come on, come on. I think I saw some slight movement over there. Oh look, there's one there, there's block, there. Uh, that, that's just a rock. I can see what you mean by the hump, but that is, that is just a rock. A lot of people do uh, get confused between the different so how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you define the difference between a, a rock and a, and a monster? Well this one's quite pointy whereas you know the Loch Ness Monster has a curve and when you see that curve it tends to mean that he's in motion coming out of the water and back in. So it will appear you know for about five seconds and then duck back in. Whereas a rock, a rock just stands there not doing much. So that's the difference we can, we can see. So what sort of risk are they, are they putting into their lives here at the moment? Well, they could be eaten. The Loch Ness Monster is very large. Do you know if the Loch Ness Monster prefers uh, men over women? Definitely men. Definitely what? men. There's much more of them to eat. Fishy, fishy, fishy! Come on! Fishy, fishy, fishy! I've got some lovely cigarettes for you. Now you like your nicotine. Come on, fishy, fishy! I have to, I have to say, the the scientific research that you've put into this is, is quite remarkable. But I feel quite useless. Is there anything I can do? Well, you could try the dance. I, I don't, I don't know how to dance. It's very simple. I don't know how. It's very simple. It's just a, a step like that. So you want to bounce your feet. You want to, and if you can get it quite hard while also using a high pitched voice. You're going to attract him, those vibrations of like the high and the low mixed together will attract him. Okay, well can you, can you teach me the dancing? It's very simple, it's very simple, it's, it's, it's more like that, like that, and, and a bit of that, and a bit of that, and here fishy fishy at the same time. Can you do that do you reckon? It's taken me years to perfect it, but you know, I think with a bit of, you know, with a bit of watching me, as you have done, you can get you can get that motion and attract him. You see, the thing is, Yvette, I've perfected the art of dancing, and there's rumours that the Loch Ness monster is in fact a female. And so I think what I might do is my tribal dance that attracts the females. Just they just flock around me. Okay, you have to you have to restrain yourself while I do the dance, if that's okay. Excellent. <laughs> fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. Yeah. What do you think could be the problem? Uh, you need to be more high pitched. But I, I'm just a, I'm too much of a man for that, you know. You need, you need to I be just high don't pitched. know if I could do, I just don't know if I could, if I could do anything higher than this. I think, yeah. I think you can. Okay, I'll give it another go. You really want to see the lock now. I'll do it, I'll do it here. Fishy, fishy, fishy! What up? A fishy, fishy! A what up? Hello! How's it going? Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling! Thank you! I'm just feeling a little bit 
down. I'm just going to sit over here for a minute. Okay. Oh, hey. Um, I've got an idea, actually. Uh, the, the Loch Ness Monster is madly in love with me. I, I hope you know this. We, we, we have a, has a very strong bond with one another. We, we could try and make him jealous, like maybe dance together. We could see how that would go, like up there. We could just, you know, just throw some moves together and, and see if we could coax him out. He, he might, because he's not a female. I see him, he's definitely over there. I'm, I've got to get my camera because I need to get some photos for my research. I'll be back in a second, okay? William? Where, where have you, where's he gone? William? William, where are you? William? Oh, that's, a, no, that's not another one, is it? Oh no. Oh no, not another one. We've been through this. William! William, where are you? Oh, this happens all the time. And it was his show tonight as well. So, you've just lost William. How does that make you feel? Uh, it happens all the time. You know, you get these people so desperate to make films and they always come to me because I'm a specialist. and. They just don't listen to my rules. They get a bit excited, a bit carried away. You know, they see it, they see something, and then before they know it, they don't realise that he will eat you. My strategy for making the the, the Loch Ness monster um, jealous it it was it worked a bit too it was a bit too effective. It could be. I think it's just he's slightly in love with me. So if he sees me with anyone else, it, it's happened with women as well. Uh, if he sees me with anyone else, he uh, tends to just get a bit mad and. His, uh, his way of dealing with that is to uh, eat the, uh, the potential, potential partner. I've had an affair with the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, oh that's just ridiculous. A monster that size? No. It's impossible. It's, it's physically impossible. I am just... They're just jealous. They are just jealous people because I have a relationship with him. Just, you know, a, a human to an animal. They seem to think... I've had some kind of relationship with it and that's all that's just rubbish they just they just don't know the techniques I use they don't get the techniques I use they think that they're um they're mad but they're not they work they get results they're just they're just jealous much more he, he likes a kind of firm meat and that's what they have so that's and he can smell them and that smell attracts him. Right. I see. I see. These people have escaped, so it's quite good, isn't it? Th that's. They're very, very lucky. Uh, I've, I've seen people that have had some not very nice uh, instances with the Loch Ness monster. Arms have been chewed off. Legs have been chewed off. You know, it's like a crocodile. You don't go up to a crocodile and start petting it, do you? Or start getting close to it and taking photographs of it mindlessly. You always have that caution there. Um, some people just think that the Loch Ness monster is this fun, friendly monster that will, you know, they can pet and have fun with, but that's not the case. Deeper. 